Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over my hair care routine for healthy shiny hair. And guys, we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers, so if you're new, make sure that you subscribe. Okay, I'm going to hop into the video, but before I do, don't forget to hit the like button. And yeah, let's get started. So a couple things about my hair is that it is very damaged at this point. So in order for me to like make it look healthy and like appear healthy and feel soft and everything like that, it does take a lot of work and my hair care routine is kind of high maintenance. <laughs> but I think if you have damaged hair, you might find this helpful. And before I get into the products, I do want to say that I think the biggest thing that actually helps my hair stay healthy is not the products necessarily. But I think the thing that helps the most is the fact that I only wash my hair once a week and I try not to brush it a lot. I think I only brush it like maybe once or twice a week. And I don't brush it when it's wet. I let it air dry completely. And then the next day when it's dry, I'll brush it if it like looks insane. But if it looks semi okay, I just kind of leave it. And I really only brush it like right before I wash it. At least that's what I try to do. <laughs> and I actually think that's what helps the most. But I do love these products. They are very nice. And I do think it helps a lot to have nice quality hair products, especially if your hair is damaged. If you have healthy hair, I really feel like drugstore shampoo and conditioners, there's some really good options and I don't necessarily think that you like need to get nice products for your hair, but if you have super damaged hair, I feel like it's an investment that's worth it because it will help a ton and it will make your hair feel like softer and silkier and just make it feel like not dead. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna hop into the products now. My favorite product is the Olaplex number no. 3. I used this before I wash my hair. And again, I don't use it if my hair is like healthy. If my hair is just like black, like that's my natural hair color, I honestly don't even use this because I just think it's kind of a waste. I only use it when it's like damaged and like bleach and because I feel like that's when it needs it the most and that's when it's like gonna help the most. I feel like if you have healthy hair, like it's just not gonna do that much for your hair because it's really meant to repair damaged hair and like repair and strengthen the hair bonds. So I feel like if you've already have healthy hair you're not going to see a huge difference but i will wet my hair put this in leave it on for 10 to 30 minutes and then i will wash it out in shampoo and condition and i feel like this is probably my number one like recommendation out of all the products like if you're going to try anything definitely try this especially if you have damaged hair and then for shampoo i have a few um the first one is the olaplex number four bond maintenance shampoo and this is supposed to repair strengthen and nourish all hair types but I do feel like this is a very like moisturizing shampoo and I feel like it does help if you have super damaged hair to use something that's like more gentle, something that's not gonna strip the color or like strip your hair of all of its natural oils. And, and I feel like this does that, but it also suds up really well so you will get like your hair super clean. So yeah, this is a pretty good shampoo, but it is on the pricier side. I did get this like as a gift and I don't know if I would like repurchase it on my own. I do think it's a really good shampoo but I just don't know if like I see a huge difference in shampoo and I don't know if I would personally spend like the money on a shampoo if that makes sense. And then I also use this sometimes. It's the Meraki Hair Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. I actually love this so much because I feel like it's the only anti-dandruff shampoo that actually works. I've used other ones and I felt like they didn't work and they made my hair super greasy. I just didn't get that with this at all and I feel like it works really really well and I just I don't know I feel like sometimes anti-dandruff shampoos just don't work for me but this like has been amazing and I'm kind of sad because I'm almost out of it and I don't know what to do <laughs> but yeah I will leave a link for this down below I do have like um, a discount code for you guys for my rocky hair if you want to use it like I said before I feel like there are a lot of good drugstore options for shampoos and conditioner and this is the one that I was using before I dyed my hair so if you have healthy hair I would highly recommend trying this out it's the Suave Almond and Shea Butter Moisturizing Shampoo this is actually a really good product the packaging is like I don't know just so like like you wouldn't think it'd be a good product and it's like three dollars from target but it's super moisturizing it smells really good the conditioner that goes with this is also a really good drugstore product so would recommend if you're like looking for drugstore options or if you have like healthy hair already and then for conditioner i use quite a few different ones one of them is the olaplex conditioner it's the number five bond maintenance conditioner and i feel like this is a good thick like creamy like nourishing conditioner I think it's really good if you have damaged hair. I do feel like it makes it soft, smooth, and like helps with detangling. And I, the way I feel about this is like it's an in-between of a really good conditioner and like a hair mask because it's thick and it nourishes your hair more than a regular conditioner would, but I feel like not as much as a hair mask would. So I really want to try their hair mask because I've heard really good things about it and my mom likes it, so 
yeah. And then for my actual hair mask, I use the Macadamia hair mask, the deeper hair treatment. Oh, this smells so good. <laughs> I really like this for damaged hair, and this is something that if you have regular healthy hair, you can also use, and I think you really like it. It just makes your hair so soft and so smooth and shiny, and it smells really good. It's just a really nice product. And since I only wash my hair once a week, I do use it like kind of every week. <laughs> Sometimes I'll condition and then use a hair mask, which is kind of like, you don't need to do that. But if your hair is really, really dead and you just need to like do everything to make it feel soft and healthy, you could try that. Condition regularly, rinse it out, and then put like a pea size of this in the end. Leave it on for a few minutes and then rinse it out again. And then when you get out of the shower, your hair will be like really, really soft. I have like a few more um, conditioners that I use but I forgot to bring them out of my bathroom, so I'll like go get them later. <laughs> but for leave-in products, I have three that I'm gonna talk about. The first one is the Moroccan Oil Light. I really like this. I think it's like, I don't know, maybe the best hair oil out there. <laughs> I just like how it separates the strands. That sounds weird, but it's not greasy. And if you put it on, it's not gonna like clump your hair together. Your hair strands will still be very like separated and they'll be so shiny and soft and silky and it smells amazing. I just Mm, I love it. It doesn't travel well though, I will say, because um, I only have like this much left because I lost like most of it when I was traveling and it's so, so yeah. But this is the light and I think this is good if you have like lighter color hair and you don't want the hair oil to like stain it because the normal one I think will stain your hair if you have like blonde hair or just like lighter hair. I will also use the Jizu, Jizu Honey Infused Hair Oil sometimes and I do like this hair oil a lot as well. It also smells really good. It smells like honey. But I don't like to use this on dry hair because I feel like it's kind of strong. So if you're going to use it on dry hair, only use like one to three drops. Don't use any more than that because it can get greasy. But on wet hair, you can use like more and it'll be okay. <laughs> and I like this one for like using on dry hair a little bit better because I feel like, again, it keeps the hair separated. But I feel like these both are really good. They both like make your hair shiny and help detangle and make it like just feel soft and just look nice. <laughs> Helps with the frizz, so yeah. And I feel like this bottle is just like really nice for gifts. I got my mom this as well, I think last Christmas or for her birthday or something. And I just think it's a nice gift because it's like really classy looking, <laughs> you know? And then I also use the Olaplex number six bond smoother and I would just use it on my wet hair. Just put a little pea size in and like run it through um, the ends. And then I do bring it up here because I have like really damaged tangly roots right now from the bleach and stuff but normally i just put it at the ends if my hair is like healthier and i actually feel like this does help a lot i feel like it helps detangles a ton and i feel like it really helps the ends like if you have split ends it's gonna just like smooth it and make it like really soft and shiny looking so yeah i do really like this okay be right back and then just to maintain the color of my hair when it starts to get like yellow and brassy i'll use either the no F um the Fanola no yellow purple shampoo or the vanilla no orange blue one i did a comparison of these where i just like did use both of them so you can see what they look like i feel like this one makes your hair look a little bit more cool tone because it is designed to like get out the orange and i feel like my hair does pull orange but this is like better for yellow tone so and i think this one is slightly better for lighter hair because i feel like it makes your hair looks a little bit brighter whereas this was designed for like brown hair so i feel like it can make your hair dark if you leave it on for too long i like both of these i feel like they're just good for like maintaining the color of your hair like last time i went to her hair stylist she was like oh your hair is still like so cool tone it's been so long and it's because i use a ton of products to maintain the color and if you guys like are interested in that kind of content i have so many videos on my channel about like toning your hair and maintaining the color and all of that jazz so just check out the hair playlist and then also to maintain the color of my hair i will use these two i call them color wash but they're technically like a color conditioner so they just deposit a little bit of color onto your hair and they're actually pretty moisturizing like compared to the toning shampoos that i use those are super drying but these since they're a conditioner they actually are pretty good conditioners surprisingly because I just thought that they would only deposit color and so make my hair dry and I would have to follow up with like a hair mask. But they're actually really good conditioners for your hair as well, especially if you have damaged hair. And the two color I use is silver and um, platinum. My friend Jackie actually gave me this giant bottle of the platinum one, so that was really nice of her. But yeah, I like both of these. I think this one um, is a little bit stronger just because it is like an intense silver 
and I feel like this one you would only like see results I guess if you had like lighter hair but this I feel like you can put it over any color and it'll give you like a wash of silver but yeah I like both of them because I feel like this one kind of brightens the lighter bits of my hair as well so I like it a lot <laughs> okay I'm kind of really embarrassed to show you this but this is the hairbrush I use it's so dirty okay it's just the wet brush and I, I really like it because I feel like it detangles your hair without like breaking it so yeah again if you have damaged hair definitely recommend Alright guys, that was it for today's video of my really like intense hair care routine. Let me know what you want to see next and I will see you next time. Bye!